Good evening. I am out here in my cozy um, coaching cabin, I call it. And um, I just wanted to hop on here because I just had this whole who hit me. Um, and it was about. Ah! Yeah, it hit me. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was so crazy. Wow. Sorry about that. Anyway, I just had this whole like revelation hit me about um, having to give something up versus letting it go. Um, and it hit me because I realized like, wow, I just, um, I simplified our diet per se. Um, when I say diet, I just mean what I'm cooking for my family on a regular basis. And, um, I just took a look at kind of what we had been eating that was healthy, quick to fix. Like everybody has their own criteria, but mine was healthy, very quick to fix and easier cleanup. Um, and then also with some flavors that we all enjoyed. So I just observed what we had been eating for several weeks. I noticed we had been eating a lot of things, uh, a lot of the, a lot of similar foods on a regular basis in a good way, not a bad way, because yes, our gut microbiome, um, needs a wide variety of foods to flourish and be op operating at optimum level. Um, but I realized that, Anytime I had tried to create a menu in the past, I was trying to create something that looked like a restaurant menu, and that's unnecessary. We live in a really, um, a culture of like excess and abundance, <laughs> and it's like a mix of like a good amount of abundance, and then there's like the negative, not so great excess of things like sugar and junk food and chemicals and all of those things. So I realized that our weekly menu did not need to look like a restu restaurant menu where there was something different every evening for supper, every day for lunch and every breakfast. Um, so I've got it so simplified. I finally, like I've asked my sister, Heather, if she watches this video, she's going to send the laughing emoji. I guarantee because I had asked her several times, okay, what do you do as a big family for your menu? I need to, I need to menu plan. And I just had not had success with her advice that she gave me. It was perfectly sound advice. I just had to shift my mindset on it. Okay. So, um, so I simplified like our menu just based off of what we had been eating, not having to drum up a bunch of creativity and be like, okay, I'm going to create a menu with all these fresh new ideas. No, I'm literally just writing down what we have been eating and then filling in the blanks. And it was so simple. So I realized in the process, you know, when people start eating healthy or uh, when people are trying to manage their weight, um, all of these things, you know, maybe like cut calories. I've been just aware of my calories, but I am a breastfeeding mama. So I'm not like cutting tons of calories now that I'm going to the gym. Um, but you know, I was tracking my calories and my coach was like, um, you know, it's not my regular life coach. It's my, my fitness coach guy. Um, it's a guy. Um, and he was like, um, that was weird. It said I wasn't connected to the internet. Sorry guys. Um, so he's like the easiest way to keep track of your calories is to eat the same foods all the time. And I know that probably sounds boring. And, um, so anyway, it was just funny how like everything, I mean, I just got the answer from multiple sources that it was time to simplify our eating choices, our food choices in a way that still, still felt celebratory. So anyway, you know, my stories that I tell, they always have a point. They always have something that's going to be helpful for you. So I realized in the process of just embracing the healthy things we had been eating, throwing a few more healthy things in there, I wasn't focused on getting rid of on getting rid of anything. In the process, I just let go of some foods and I started noticing like, well, I really haven't hard, hardly had like any sugar lately. Like somehow I just like let go of that. Yes, I made a blackberry cobbler last week that was delicious and wonderful. Yes, Trey made cookies like a couple weeks before that. But a lot of the foods I was beginning to like just let go of instead of getting rid of things. Um, you know, if you've recently had a health diagnosis or just something that you feel like I can't eat these foods anymore. I'm a diabetic, so I can't eat this. I have to not eat that. If you're focused on avoiding something, then you're still focused on the item. If you are focused on avoiding sugar, you're still focused on sugar. 
If you're focused on avoiding potatoes, you're still focused on the potato. So how many times a day do you think you're going to think about a potato? Like seriously, if you're still focused on like potato chips, I can't, I shouldn't eat potato chips because there are so many people that like just struggle with giving up, getting rid of their potato chips. But if you're focusing on that, you're still focusing on the potato chips. So instead, I wasn't even like planning it out and being strategic. I just happened to focus on what I wanted to eat. And I was able to let go of the things that I didn't really want to eat. And everything was simpler. Everything was easier. Everything was more streamlined. And so I want to encourage you. I used that in something like food, but you can use the same concept. Whether you have a major addiction, a subtle addiction, a destructive behavior, a behavior that isn't serving you, a mindset that's really holding you back. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be something huge in your life that you feel like you have to get rid of. But what if you can just let go of it? What if your focus is over here so you just never look back over here? It's so interesting how our culture goes about breaking addictions, goes about giving up things, we focus on so much on, I've got to give this up, that we're focused on the cigarette. We're focused on the alcohol. We're focused on the marijuana. Whatever it is that, you know, I know people who want to stop using their marijuana and they want to, they want to give it up, but all they have to do is let it go. Okay. So take a look at what you've been focusing on. Have you been focusing on what you need to get rid of what you need to give up or have you reached for something good for you have you reached for a healthier drink option instead of focusing on i need to give up soda yeah i really shouldn't be drinking energy drinks what if you focused on wow you know what i think i'm going to start drinking water i'm going to think i think i'm going to start drinking zevia or you know I know I usually eat a Hershey bar every afternoon. I think I'm going to eat like a Lily's chocolate. I've heard Claire talk about that and there's no sugar in that. What if I did that? Um, just throw in some comments. Let's just flood the comments with some ideas, some swaps. Anything you think people are feeling like they need to let go of or get rid of, put that in the comments along with what they could actually focus on that would just help them release that just help them to let go of it like the examples I gave you just now um instead of being like well I shouldn't go to Dairy Queen anymore that's really unhealthy what if you focused on there are some really healthy ice cream recipes out there I think I'm gonna like look into these recipes I think I'm gonna give these a try um what could you try that's new what could you try that you've done in the past that worked for you? Instead of focusing on the thing that you need to let go of or get rid of. What does that change for you? Feel free to drop that in the comments. I mean, people have huge aha moments by some of the questions that I can ask them. Because it's like, what does being diabetic make possible for you? What kind of foods do you have like... That like, because you're not going to eat those foods anymore, now you actually look over at this whole other food group and you're like, wow, strawberries are delicious. Blueberries are delicious. Um, cucumbers are amazing. Zucchini, I've fallen in love with zucchini. There's something called cauliflower rice. And like, depending on how you cook with it, like that tastes like rice. So anyway. I could make this video super long with all the ideas and the possibilities, but instead, why don't you guys just make the comments super long and just drop, drop each scenario in a separate comment and just like, you could, if you were focusing on giving this up or getting rid of this, this is what you would do. This is what you have to give up or, or you could just focus on embracing this and then you would just naturally let go of that. So anyway, I love you guys. I wanted to hop on here and tell you that because like the second I sat down here at my table, I was like, 
Oh yeah, I have this idea. I have this live video. Oh my goodness, I've got to share this. Oh my goodness, this happened for me. And I wanted to share that with you. So look at those lovely bubbles. I love the little heart bubbles. They make me happy. <laughs> I love you guys. That's why I get on here. And that's why I share. Because <sighs> I just, I want to see you prosper. Like on my coaching, um, uh, why do I, why do I want to, uh, contract, on my coaching contract, um, it says, oh, beloved, I have no, oh, greater hope than for you to prosper, even as your soul prospers, something like that. One of my clients can drop it in there if they ever read their um, contracts. <laughs> I think they read them anyway. Um, but yeah, that's why I talk to you is I want you to prosper even as your soul prospers and I want your soul to prosper. And then I want it to show on the outside for you. So I love you guys. Goodbye.